All right, this is for Algebra 2, Lesson 24 on graphing parabolas, but obviously this is the worksheet <clears throat> because I just really don't think the textbook gives you quite enough to for you to really progress in parabolas, and these are so fun. Okay, I want you to get to where you see that only one variable is squared, so you know it's a parabola. Notice just the x is squared and not the y. So I know it's a parabola that's going to open up. Okay, why do I know it's going to open up? It's because this is positive. I'm trying to look right here. See how this x is squared, but there's a negative out front? Therefore, I know it's a parabola that opens down. Now, um, <clears throat> real quick, I could tell you that my vertex right here is negative 10, 1. And the reason I know that, well, one, I could plot points and figure it out, but it's what makes it 0 in here. When it's in this form, okay, it's great. You can't tell it when it's like in this form. I can't, I can't just look at it and know my vertex. And we're going to work with this one here in just a second and put it in this form. Now, if you weren't sure, you could put in a negative 10. And, and I always would because I like to make zero. It's one of my favorite numbers. But if you put a negative 10 in here, notice you get zero. Squared is zero times two is zero. So you would get zero plus one. So you would get the point negative 10, 1. And that just will happen to be your vertex, okay? But if you would just do the T-chart and graph lots of points, you would see that, okay? But it'd be nice if you didn't have to do that. So when you get ready to graph this, yes, they might fall off your graph, okay? Because remember I said, and graph. So I can tell you the vertex. I can actually tell you the axis of symmetry, okay? But we're going to look at your graph and see if you can figure it out and the direction of the opening. So we've already talked about it's a parabola that opens up. So when you get ready to graph, I attach some graphs on the back side of your worksheet. Here's negative 10, 1 right here. Okay, so someone asked me, is this going to fall off your graph? Yeah, maybe a little bit. You need to do something to this side. I mean, I know it's going to do this, but just pick any value over here so we can see what it's going to do because I know it's going to be a mirror image over here. So let's just do negative 9, okay? If you plug in negative 9, um, so I'm just going to do it right here. If you plug in a negative 9, I'm going to add 10 and I get 1. 1 squared is 1 times 2 is 2. 2 plus 1 is 3. So I've got this point right here. Negative 9, 3. 1, 2, 3. Right there. So notice how that's over 1 and then up 2. I know this is going to be the mirror image. So I know I'll have another point right there. Okay. So let's do one more just to be on the safe side if you want to. Plug in like something over here. Plug in a negative 8. Negative 8 plus 10 is 2. And 2 squared is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. Plus 1 is 9. So there's my point. Negative 8. And I'm going to look through my phone and it's going to be scary. Negative 8, 9. So it's going to be right there. Okay. So here's what we've got. A nice little parabola that goes like this, and this is the mirror image of it. So it's going to look like that. If there's a point here, the exact image should be over here. This right here, and you can go ahead and put that in there. That is your axis of symmetry because it's the same on the right as it is on the left. And that value is x equals negative 10. Okay? It has to be an equation of a line. So I'm going to put over here. That right there is my axis of symmetry. It either has to be x equals negative 10 or y equals negative 10. And all vertical lines are x equals, look at that, that's not a coincidence right there. Okay, so technically I could do this one, okay, without even graphing it. I could tell you my vertex is 7, 1. Because 7, when I plug it in there for my x, is what makes it 0. And out pops a 1. And I could also tell you that my axis of symmetry is the line x equals 7 because it comes right there from that and it's a parabola that opens down how do i know it opens down let's say this one more time the x value is squared so it either opens up or down and because there's a negative out front it's going to open down okay so when you get ready to graph that and i'm just going to use my same little graph because it's on the other side here okay i'm going to go to 7 1 there's 7 1 I've already got this visual that it looks like this. So pick a point on either side. I'd either pick like a 6 or an 8. Who cares? Okay. If I plug in an 8, okay, um, <clears throat> let me show what I'm plugging in here. If I plug in an 8, 
And actually, I might plug in something now that I see this fraction, but let's go ahead and do what I said. Plug in an 8. 8 minus 7 is 1. 1 squared is 1. So I've got a negative 1 third. And you know, gosh, use your calculators if you have a problem with fractions, but you have a negative 1 third plus 1, which is going to be 2 thirds. That's okay. Just estimate it. That's all we're doing anyway. So here's 8 and 2 thirds. It's about right there, which means I'm going to have the mirror image right on the other side. Okay. Probably a point I would like better would be 10. Because look, if I plug in a 10, do you see how I get 10 minus, I get a 3, and the 3 squared is 9, and 9 is divisible by 3, so of course I'm going to like that point that better. So if I get a 9 divided by 3 is 3, so it's going to be a negative 3 plus 1, which is a negative 2. So I've got 10, negative 2, which is right there. So it's looking like this. Okay, here's my axis of symmetry, by the way, right down here. Remember we talked about that? And notice how this is 1, 2, 3 over. You guys see that from the axis of symmetry, this point is 3 over. That means without me doing any math, I'll have 3 over this way. That's what it means to be symmetrical, is there's points even on both sides. So I don't have to find quite as many points. So find your vertex and then find two other points. And then you can, that way, you can just do the mirror image. So that way you end up with one, two, three, four, five points on each of these. Okay, no big deal. All right, but let's look at number three. That's a little bit more interesting. Now, first of all, without graphing it, I could tell you that it's a parabola that's opening down. And the reason I know that is because the X is squared and there's a negative out front. Now, I gave you guys that little fun equation to find the vertex. You could do this, X equals negative B over 2A. And this is your A's, your B's, and your C's. I personally don't like that because there's fractions, but if you have a calculator that has fractions and you want to play that way, okay, you just do it. But you're going to get to a point where you have to put these in standard form anyway. So here's what I would do. I would first get rid of my fraction, and I notice there's a negative 3 up front. So I would multiply every single thing by negative 3. So let me go right here. That's going to end up giving you negative 3y, because I have to multiply him by a negative 3. This negative 3 is going to cancel, so I just have x squared. When I multiply this guy by negative 3, it's going to change that sign. 3's will cancel, so I get 16x plus, because when I multiply that by a negative 3, and then if you can't see this, you know, do it like this, but do you have to see the 3's cancel? And a negative and a negative is a positive, 46. Okay, now I'm going to copy this down here on my own paper, and you may want to have your own paper, absolutely, okay, and then just attach your work or something. <clears throat> so this is number three. We're going to complete the square, so to complete the square, I'm going to only look at these first two terms, and remember you have to figure out what magical thing you're going to add on. So you half it and you square it. If I half 16, I get 8, 8 squared is 64. Okay, but here's what's weird. If I add 64, I need to undo it, so I'm going to subtract 64. Because everybody sees 64 minus 64, I really didn't do anything. Now the reason I do this, let me go ahead and copy this down, is so I can write it as something squared. Because remember, that's the way this is supposed to look. It's supposed to look like something squared. So what's going to go in here is x minus 8. Remember that minus sign right there? What's half of negative 16 is negative 8? What's 8 squared? 64. Now, what is 46 minus 64? Use your little calculator or what you ever need. Um, you can do it also like this. Remember this, the good old days? You know, 14 minus 6 is 8, so you get that. So it's going to end up being a negative 18. You can, remember, you can do 64 minus 46, but remember, it's negative. Okay, and then, whoo, you're almost done, but be careful. Remember, this is supposed to be just a y. So now I'm going to divide everything by negative 3 again. So not only... A, the way I would probably write that is I would go ahead, dividing by negative 3 is the same thing as multiplying by negative 1 third. So I'd probably write it like that. But when you divide this by guy by negative 3, two negatives are going to give you a positive 6. So this right here would be your equation. And notice your vertex, this is a little harder one, is 8, 6. Because 8 is what makes that 0, and then the 6 is what's tagged on the end. Okay? So that's one way to do it. And then, you know, fortunately, I think I attached the answers. I'm looking to see real quick. Did I give you guys the answers to that? 
I did, I'm so neat, okay? And therefore, there's my axis of symmetry as well. So my axis of symmetry is x equals eight, okay? Now be careful, that's only because the y is by itself. Things are gonna switch up just a little bit. Now when you get ready to graph that, let's look at this graph right here. I'm gonna go ahead and graph that axis of symmetry. Here is, what was it, eight, six, right there. We already talked about how we know it's a parabola that opens down, right? Okay, because of this negative out front. There we go. But let's just try it real quick. Let's plug in something. And I'm trying to think ahead what I would like to you know, plug in. And I would be plugging in something to either side of this eight, okay? Um, you can plug in anything you want. I think I'll plug in a five, okay? So if I plug in a five, I'm gonna show my work here. If I plug in a five, why? I'll tell you why, because what's five minus eight? Negative three, and negative three squared is nine. And again, three goes into nine three times, but it's negative. So I'm gonna have a negative three plus six, which is three. So let's try that. Does that work from what I'm already thinking? Here's five, three right here. So yeah, I can see it's opening down. Here's my axis of symmetry. The axis of symmetry always goes. So look how this is one, two, one, two, three over. So it's gonna be one, two, three over. Yeah, you're gonna to have to estimate a little bit. Falls off the graph a little bit. So nice, smooth curve of a parabola. Notice there's arrows on the end. Okay, it looks just like that. And that's good enough. If you want to, just use your calculator, get you a couple extra points in there, okay? 